Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will paint Ada Wong's body. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start by painting the dress with Mephiston Red. Although I have completed this step with an airbrush, I can assure you it can also be completed with a normal brush. Now we can start painting the skin. With Bugman's Glow, we will do the first layer. Take your time and paint all parts of the skin, like shoulders and legs. All areas that we covered with Bugman's Glow will be layered with two thin layers of Cadian Flesh Tone. With Abaddon Black, we will paint the clothes under the red dress. We will now focus the leather straps. With the Rhinox Hide, we will do the base color. If you paint on other parts by mistake, use the specific color to fix it as soon as possible. Unfortunately, this part did not get recorded, however, you can see all areas that needs to be overlaid with Dumbo Brown. Using Evil Sun Scarlet, we will dry brush over the dress. This way, we can highlight all small details without taking too long. If you feel like doing it with a normal brush, feel free to do so. Going back to Abaddon Black, we will paint the leg part so it matches the pantyhose of the legs. Do not worry too much if you do not make it 100% same as the pantyhose. This part is supposed to be a bit darker. Making a 1 to 1 mix of Cadian Flesh Stone and Kizzel of Flesh, we will make highlights to the skin, both breast and shoulders. Following the previous step, we will add details of pure kizzle of flesh to the most raised areas and some of the flat areas of the skin. Once more, we will use Abaddon Black in order to paint the body of the choker. The small silver piece of the choker will be painted with iron hand steel. The precious stone of the choker will be painted with Leviathan blue, although if you so wish it can also be painted with soul stone blue. With the body done, we will now paint the holster. With black templar, we will paint the main part. The holster straps, like the main body straps, will be based with Rhinox hide. We shall now layer the straps like we did earlier with Dumbold Brown. The holster links will be based with Iron Hand Steel. We will wash the metallic with known oil. With another use of iron hand steel, we will make a couple of highlights on the links. Finally, we will add a couple of details of storm host silver to the holster's links. The results of our work are visible now. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please leave a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.